And welcome back. This is Coquetel for another War of Rights event. I'm a little bit late, but I think I made it in time to see the start of the match here. This is a War of Secession. It is the 20th New York's token attacking the 10th Tennessee. Um, so those are the two tokens in play. I missed the earlier part where they did the um, meta board, so... I'm not sure of the exact situation here, but it is a Miller's Cornfield. Current server pop is 238, 116 on the attacking CSA, 123 on the defending Union. So a little bit of an imbalance here, but we'll take a look at this Union team first. Here we've got first VA under Sergeant Connor. We've got TB under Major Knight, who is in the token holder. We have JD under Lieutenant Mokoso. We have Colonel Dees also in there for JD. And we've got HL led by Captain Lamat, MBAT led by Colonel Metal, TB led by Bocephus. We've got SR from Targaryen here, along with 8th Alabama under my name, Ryder. Uh, we do have some Artie, which I'll move out to. I'll see the CSA as they move up. So it looks like JD under Major Provost and Hankel from the 1st VA are on the guns for the CSA. I'll rotate out to the CSA Artie real quick, and then I'll swing back over to the infantry and catch them as they move up here. So on Artie for the CSA, we have Halo from the 20th and 19th Clark's Battery under Lieutenant Shark. Not 19th, well, 9th Corps, not 19th. All right, and they will be live here in a moment, but I will catch them as they head out here. So we have the IB under First Lieutenant Diffuse and Will. Then we also have Major Hazard from the EB. Along with Captain V. And let's see here, we've got Brutish leading the 9th Corps. Along with Arctis from the HD, Hoach Division. Oh. Oh, oh, the Union has employed this early strategy now of attacking forward here before falling back into the, um, the corn. I very much like that strategy. 83rd under, looks like First Sergeant Caddy is also in here. And I'm not sure if there's anybody else. Well, so the question is, can the Union get out of here soon enough? You don't want to have guys kind of spread out getting caught. Now, if I missed you on that intro, I do apologize. Like I said, I was a little bit late. Um, but uh, at least it looks like I got here in time for the action. Yeah, you don't want to have these out of lines here. Now, we do have a flanking maneuver on this far side. Colonel Dees. Uh, they're going to get five tickets there, kind of coming up and around. These guys kind of slowly getting rolled up here again. This is a big problem. You cannot have in this retreat these five tickets, five tickets. That is a big problem for the Union, although not too big. It looks like they got most of that man out. Uh, whoever this is, I don't know if he's AFK or what happened, but he needs to get out of here. He might be AFK looking. It doesn't look like he's moving. So we do have the Union has now moved out to a strong position here along this fence after an initial ambush against the CSA. And they have maneuvered out here this JD element here to kind of intercept <coughs> the CSA lock, line of communication, and maybe catch some guys coming out of Maine. Um, it's a dangerous position for them, but it could uh, yield some good tickets. Okay, they are falling back, and it looks like the battle has now slowed down quite a bit. And we will see if the CSA moves to early cap here and force an engagement in the corn. It's Alabama! It looks like we have several scouts out here trying to get a feel, but the Union is massing on that left corner there. And there is the cap. It looks like maybe the Union is looking to do an attack along this flank here. And in fact, the CSA is going to advance forward a little bit here. Who are these guys out here? Uh, we got Tog right here talking to his guys, but they are isolated. I hope they don't get caught. Uh, 
All right, now he's moving out to meet up. So I think he should be get away in time. So now we are at 20 minutes on this counterattack, and the CSA has stopped the clock here. So two interesting moves here. We've had a forward attack there by the Union, and then a pretty good retreat. They didn't lose too many men going back, and then we've had a early cap here by the CSA team. We will see how they set up this defense. It's looking like it's a bit of a U-shape, but... Um, yeah, it is a U-shape. Now, uh, we will see if the Union can manage to get up and behind it. If they can, it might be a very effective attack. Do have a couple guys kind of... 83rd is kind of wandering out here. I'm fine. I'm fine. Got a couple guys over here. Let's see if we're all in together. Aim. Fire. Ah, uh, so saw a couple drop there. Markers, you'll see. A couple oh, good shots there different. from the SR. I guess the 83rd is as a early warning system here, but the problem is there's no there's no steam chat, so I don't know. Early warning systems are, are quite difficult here. Now, I like this avenue of attack that the Union has done. You can see that they've completely bypassed, and they are coming in from behind. Can the CSA adjust this line in time? They have indeed seen the attack here, and they have adjusted. Here we go. The nice idea from the Union, but the CSA saw it, and here we go. And this might be devastating to the Union here. I like the idea a lot. I really do, but the CSA team has had a masterful stroke to defend it. I would have fallen for this. They would have nailed me, man, if I was leading, because I would have done the same thing the Union did, and I would have been just as screwed. Original position, about face, about face. All right, now we do have some survivors here for the Union, but these are just going to be easy out-of-line kills here. And there we go. First attack is a complete and total failure, but not for lack of trying. I thought it was a pretty damn good-looking attack, but the CSA was able to... Uh, to watch it. Maybe they had to leave the flags behind. That might have been the problem where they got spotted by it um, and should have left the flags back or maybe as a diversion over on the corner or something um, to try to, you know, hide their movement. I think that might be the one point of criticism I have for it. Um, you know, wait for the melee then maybe run the flags or just don't go in with the flags, you know. It's a, you know. But um, they got spotted. Good reaction by the CSA and they slaughtered the Union team. <laughs> Uh, looks like JD here is coming up, Mr. Cowboy, trying to get eyes on. We will see what happens next. Now we got 16 minutes remaining on the counterattack clock. Who's this? What are you doing? Who's that? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Double check your loads. Keep yeah, checking. knucklehead. And who are you? What are you doing out here? Cash money. You are not being very cash money right now. Why are you rambling cash money? Cash money. What are you doing? What do you What do you think you're doing here? That's five tickets. Yankee Rambo. And there's another one. All are being very, very not cash money here. All right, so we got a wide flank developing here from JD on this far right side of the Union line here, while the rest of the Union is uh, massing up here. Now, the problem I have with these maneuvers here is that it's very disaggregated from the main force here, so they're just as likely to miss the main action or wander into an enemy line as they are to have any major effects. So um, you can do it, but I, 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 I don't like doing it. Here we got an attack with HL, with Lamatt, and then TB with Mr. Knight. Looking for Arthur Morgan here. And here we have the attack developing. But it's a very disaggregated line here. Kill this guy, kill this guy! 
But it's uh, the CSA is, I would argue, getting a little bit disaggregated here. You got a flank attack by 9th Corps in there. But an attack here by EB as well. And that will sandwich this element of the Union. See, here's the problem. JD's coming in now, but the fight's already over. You are just out of line kills now. And skirmishing kills. You're not actually going to affect the battle. You still have that element that hasn't gone in. There's Snapperkin's trying to get away from Caddy. And you see. So a more successful attack by the Union that time. Although, frankly, I thought it looked a little bit worse, but it was more successful. And I think because the CSA didn't put on as good a defense as they did last time. They, they were a little bit more spread out, a little bit more kind of crazy, and um, evened up on tickets. But um, there's a problem. You know, the Union's got to retake the field here. They've got 13 minutes now to do so. Marty's coming in, hitting them. One of them got away with the flag. Eagles, let's go. Get over here, Eagles. Let's go. Let's go. And we'll see what the next move here is by this Union team. The ball is in their court. Hey, gentlemen, over here. Now again, keep in mind, you know, volleys are, you know, fine if you don't have anything else, but that's not going to get you the point back. Not with a five-second respawn. And even if you are causing casualties, all you're doing is decreasing, you know, their tickets, which makes it more even. And that means when, if and when you retake the point, in fact, if you want to win, you have to retake the point, you're going to get less, you know, troops. So really, you're killing yourselves right now. You're actually making it worse for your team. Like, if you're killing without retaking the points, all you're doing is actually hurting your team. It's like we got another forward movement, but again, with the flags, I think they are giving away their position a little bit too much here. And we'll see if the CSA can react to it. Here we've got Ninth Corps lined up, waiting for... And here comes the attack. I'm going to have to leave the flags on a lot more because otherwise it's very tough for me to see what the hell is going on. Um, so, uh, apologize for that. Good counterattack in by the IB. I don't really have much of a choice. And it looks like a successful initial attack by the Union. We'll see if they can carry it forward here. I think, that, again, the CSA is now disaggregated a little bit too much, a little bit too spread out. They're not really interlocking like they need to be. Now, what might save them is the Union is not fully going in. Why is that element? Why are you guys not going in and engaging and helping? And you're not helping. You're just shooting, man. You need to get in and help them. Doesn't matter how good your volleys look if this charge fails. Come here, you dick. I'm going to shoot you. I'm going to stab your friend, too. Come here. Give me that fucking flag. Give me that flag, you jerk. I'm going to go back Go back up, Will. Yep. Oh, wow. And now again, five second respawn. Oh, so we got another attack developing here. Who is this? So HL is reconstituting. They're coming back out here. They're going to keep up the pressure. CSA is now at engaged. Again, keep in mind, these tickets are tickets that you would otherwise get back if you if you recap the point. So now we got Lamat moving up here, but again, it's unsupported here. This is too disaggregated. You, you need more support. Now again, I don't like the CSA being a little bit disaggregated as well. You got to cover angles, but you need to be a little bit tighter in doing so. Now I know the CSA is worried about Artie, so you know that that is a valid thing. But that means you need to have a good formation. Like I, I, 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, EB's a little bit too tight. My bad. So yeah, Keep your eyes peeled, I think they're okay, but a little bit too tight. I think Ninth Corps had a better angle, but it's a little bit collapsed now because they're under the attack. Here's Brutish coming out here, sniping a couple guys. So this is a decently concentrated attack. And again, you know, there's, there's a hole in the line right here because HD is too far out and these guys are not connected. So now this element is going to get swamped because you did not have a connected line there, CSA. You let them walk right through your formation. And now they are exploiting the rear area and they are going to crush you. And I think this Union attack will be successful. We'll see. It would definitely be successful if all the Union go in. Looks like they're all starting to move now. I think this is a full Union team. Is there anybody else out there? No, not really. Hold here. You need to go help your allies, Caddy. Unless you're guarding an active flag or something. Unless you have a flag you're keeping up right now, which you don't. Union is now taking losses. It's less important to guard the CSA flags, and it's more important for you to have your flags up, by the way. Now, if you can keep the enemy flags down, that's good. But, um... There we go, there we go. Great work, great work. My God, quit standing around in a circle! Uh, that man is very much right, in my opinion. I think he, uh... He can't be all this, you know... In a clusterfuck, as they might say. And it is still a knife fight here, but the CSA has not lost. Here comes PB, along with the others, but now here comes other elements. We're at seven minutes right now. EB is not... Let's see here. They got to go in to help. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Go back down to double quick, boys. Oh, you got to get in the fight. There you go. Turn into it. Seven minutes on this counterattack. Right now, the problem is, I would say the Union is kind of coming. I mean, I know I got it. They feel like they almost have it, but I don't think they do. Not with the flags down. You got a couple up, but you keep going in single unit at a time. I, I think you need to kind of pause and reset. I know you, the bad part is if you pause and reset, the enemy reinforcements come in. But I would trust my Artie to make up the difference and then hit him with a big punch. Behind, about charge, charge again, charge again. And this is a knife fight in the corn here. I, I wouldn't change what the CSA is doing. Again, the only thing I would try to do is get some water. And again, let, have faith in your arty, man, to make up some of this difference. You've got 5 minutes 30 now. There you go. There you go. Now, again, get all your men here and get ready for one big push here. And hit them. Hit them hard. You could do a volley while you're waiting to move, but you better be going in at the same time. You better not be like, oh, I need to get my reload now. And then be, ten, you know, 30 seconds behind the charge and... And in fact, uh, a little bit behind, but not too bad. I'll, I'll let Connor get away with that. He wasn't too far behind. I'll say that's okay. But this is how you want to go in as hard as you can with as much as you can. Concentration, mass, all that kind of fun shit. Hold here, hold here, hold here. Gotta listen to those nutty Prussians, man. 
Now this again, this is a little bit too far out, I'd be in my opinion. I want to be in this fight. Now if you charge in like you've been doing, it's fine. They've been pretty good about going into the fights, but uh together. Ooh, well, nice already shot. That might be key, man. Uh, I'd be went in, so. I'm not gonna lie, that already shot might have saved the Union here. We'll see. CSA is fighting hard. One more push. Alright, uh, what are you guys doing? Nope, they're calling it back. So, I think JD would have done it. I think JD might have pushed them off. But they have called back. It's tough to tell, though. I'm not going to get too mad at them for that. It's very tough to tell. Um, but I think JD might have won that um, if they pressed in. Now we got three minutes. You've got to get ready to launch an attack very quickly here. Yeah, again, I, I I say JD could have attacked. I don't think JD had the visibility to tell that. So I, I again, I'm not really, not really a criticism. Just a missed opportunity, but not one they were aware of. So you know, that's kind of a coin flip. Could have worked or could have been a disaster. They had no way of knowing which one it was. The probably smarter option is to come back, reconsolidate, and hit him again. But again, you got to get ready to hit him as fast as you can because they got to come in with reinforcement as well. You want to hit them before these guys get all set down here, if you can. So, you know, if you're waiting to shoot, you're wrong. You get your guys. We got enough. All right, let's hit them. Oh, this is taking way too long to launch this attack. And that was not well communicated. Now we got a little bit more disaggregation. Now, they are moving, which is good, but the CSA has gotten a good amount of troops here as well. Look at this. You know, they've gotten Ninth Corps back into the fight. Oh, there's a CO. All right. We'll see. This, I think, might be the last chance for the What's Union. Up, Let's do this. Do a Super Singer EB. Also, get your bayonet there. Oh, shit. Here we go. Get in there. Get in the fight. Get in the fight. Looks like the Union might have broken through, although this element here. Yep, Ninth Corps is coming in, which is good. Ninth Corps coming in there was very critical at that point. Oh, but we have another flank maneuver here by JD behind the uh, Union line, the CSA line here. This might be key here. If they can disrupt these flags here. Ah, this flank by JD might have done it. We'll see. Oh, this is very close. This is very close. These guys got to get on point, though. You can't be chasing onesies and twosies. You need to be going on point here. Yeah, they're wasting time right now. Chasing onesies and twosies. You need to take contest the point. All right. Well, their allies are coming in to hit the point, at least. And maybe these guys are going to try to be a break force. I mean, if you're going to be a break force, that's actually a good idea here. So if this was the intent, was to kind of be a blocking element here. To delay while the reinforcements came in and took the point. That's a good plan, actually. And I think that might be enough. No shooting, you're stabbing. They're already set up. Stick together. They're already set up. Stick together. They're in front of you. Hit them together. You got you to gotta roll through this. You can't just fight this. You got to stab and go. You cannot stop and fight this. You gotta roll through it and go, and trust that you. Yeah, who was saying that? Good job, whoever. Ooh, another key already shot here. Artie is doing an excellent job of timing their shots for having maximum effect here. We'll see. That might have been between JD with their delay and that Artie. That might be enough here for this union to hold out. It's overtime now. The Union's about to be put on to final push. Uh, last stand here. No, final push. This will be final push for them. Ooh, was that a CSA already shot? Another well-timed shot. And that might have turned the tide. There's the final push. 
CSA has got a flood in here, though. Are you guys flooding in, or are you sitting here getting your... It's not just about defending. You have to push out the enemy, because if they have enough on cap, they win. All right, now you're doing it. Charge forward. You don't just need to be defending. You need to push them off. Yeah, I see you sitting back there saying, oh, we can stay back. And you are going to give an opportunity here for the Union to retake it. Because you were like, oh, it says it says defending, I'm good. No, you can't. You have to have more men than the enemy. And there we go. And now the Union has retaken it after an overtime. And I see a lot of guys formed up here not going into the fight here. That is a mistake. You guys could have won that fight right there. I mean, you could pull back now and fight them down to uh, last stand. But we'll see. The Union might also push forward and try to get you down to uh, final push here. I'm not sure what they'll decide to do here. The problem I see right now is, again, a disaggregated charge here by the Union. It's one unit going in. They're going to get defeated in detail and start losing a lot of tickets here. This is a mistake. You can't just send one unit in like this and everybody else hang back. That is a huge mistake. Tons of catch. Tons of, tons of tickets here. Yeah, now the CSA has gotten about a bit of a. Uh, yeah, again, all these, all these out of lines here. But again, I don't really like the CSA charge either. Look how disaggregated this is. You won that fight. Now you got to kind of stop and get together. It's just one unit charging in, just DB. The rest of the CSA is not going in. This is a failure of communication here, and they are going to piss away the advantage that they just might have gotten from that mistake from the uh, Union by making the same mistake themselves. Good shot by the Artie. CSA Artie coming in. Yeah, you see now a bit of that ticket advantage has evened out. Again, you're sending in these little itty-bitty units here. IV, why are you going in without your allies? Why are you running a flag in? No, no, that's Wilkes getting his flag back. Okay, I was like, what the fuck was that? Now Wilkes is doing what he's supposed to be doing. Okay, you guys need to get back. What are you What are you hanging around here for? And why are you guys... Okay, he's on a flag retrieval. Okay, you're fine. Flag retrieval, fine. Flag retrieval, good. I like flag retrieval. That is you, good. Good job. Head on the back. To the left, to the left. I don't know, any of you guys watch, uh, uh, what's his name? Angry Cop? Again, I don't, I don't really like this charge here by the CSA. This is a little bit too disaggregated here. And the Union, I mean, the CSA may piss this away. Look how disaggregated this is. These are all skirmishing kills here. I mean, you've got another another angle that's going to come in on this side here with Ninth Corps, but it didn't go in at the same time as that one did. But, I mean, casualties are, the CSA's ahead, so this might work. They should get them down to uh, final push before they go to last stand here. We'll see. Good attack angle here by Ninth Corps. Very good attack angle by Ninth Corps. They are very good at finding these flanks here. Hey, let's see who's with them. IB's with them. Now everybody else needs to go. And they are. Good job here. Good job by EB hitting the center here. And they might break this wing, and that'll put them probably on to final push. I'm sorry, on to last stand. Oh, Union goes to last stand before CSA goes to final push. They no 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 no. Union needs to go forward right now and defend off point. You cannot defend on point. You will lose if you defend on point. 
You need to push beyond points and defend up here. You cannot let them... Oh, no, no, no. Don't defend on point. That is a rookie mistake. Defend forward of point. Why is that, Kotel? The reason that is, is because so long as you saw as the overtime is going, they can flood people in. Now, they're on final push, so they have infinite respawns. You don't. So once you get into that fight, you know, it's very much favors the final push guys. You need to end you need to end the clock here before this mass hits. And you need to fight them up here. It doesn't matter if you guys all die in a minute 30. What matters is you guys all die up here before they get on point. So I, I very much disagree with with uh, fighting back here. But we'll see. And I think this flood is going to work. Again, I think you're fighting. Uh, I think you made a big mistake here, Union. You can see one wing's already dead. And they're taking point, and it's over. Union has lost this match. It was an interesting fight. A lot of, a lot of really brilliant moves and a lot of really bad moves, to be honest. It was kind of a mixed bag for both teams. He did. And it made a very dynamic fight, very interesting fight to watch. But uh, it's and again, it's a very tough map to uh, you know. There's no steam chat, and you're fighting in the corn with this very bad visibility. So it is not easy to maneuver here. But um, I, I do think there were a number of mistakes by both teams, but also some very good moves by both. So, but at the end of the day, the CSA outplayed the Union and has come out on top, and they will take this victory here. And there we go. That is the end. Got one more match to go tonight. So, uh, oh, God, I don't even know on the token status. Um, so the Union was 10th Tennessee, which means they were the CSA in the campaign. So 20th New York. So this is a Union campaign victory. Or 20th New York.